All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So with the recent addition of a couple of new units in Global's Baba Shop, especially that new STR Android 13 who is an absolute monster, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter and the Dokkan subreddit asking once again what the best stage to farm incredible gems actually is and after some extensive research and just personal testing i've narrowed down the answer to one specific stage in the story mode and that would be 23 4 that's area 23 chapter 4 contact and i'm not saying that there aren't other great stages for this purpose um, some people have said 23 6 is the best or 23 7 27 3 is one i've used a lot in the past for farming incredible gems and rank exp at the same time and uh, so on and so forth so i'm not saying that this is the only good stage but from my personal experience this is the one that has allowed me to run into pilaf and launch fights uh, the most often and uh, i like this one the most for just specifically farming incredible gems so with all that said let's check out this stage we're gonna pop in here i always go with the highest difficulty and as far as the team goes it really doesn't matter what you bring just uh, bring your favorite team and uh, why don't we go with let's go str extreme for that str cooler and we're gonna jump in here and hopefully run into oh there we go okay so at the very top we have the launch so obviously you want to go there and is there a pilaf as well? No, just the launch. I mean, launch is better than pilaf, so that's pretty good. And for all new players out there who don't know why we want the launch and pilaf fights, it's because fighting launch will give you 15 incredible gems, while fighting pilaf gives you 10. So sometimes you get really lucky, you'll run into both pilaf and launch on the same map, and that's 25 incredible gems right there, right? So uh, let me make sure to not miss launch here. Okay, so she's at the top there. So I don't have to worry too much for now. I'm going to save the ones just in case I need them. And uh, there we go. So we got a five here. And we missed the shiny space for that one extra gem. But it's better to miss that one than miss launch. So here we go. We got the launch. So we're getting 15 incredible gems here. 10 if you're fighting pilaf. 25 if you fight both. And then also you want to you know land on those shiny spaces as much as possible too. Because... Those shiny spaces give you one gem each. And then at the end, when you're fighting Cell, he can also give you, I think, anywhere between like one to three gems. So if you get really lucky and you get everything, you know, working together, you could get, you know, in theory, like 30-ish gems in a run. Obviously, that's not always going to happen. There's going to be some runs where you get no pilaf and no launch and uh, you miss all the shiny spaces too. So those would really suck where you only get like maybe two or three gems in a run, um, which is going to happen because at the end of the day, it's all RNG based, just like summoning. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. But just from my personal experience, I've run into pilaf and launch almost or you know at least one of them almost every single time. I've done this stage, and that's why I personally think this is the best stage to farm your incredible gems. The only downside of this stage, honestly, is that it's a little bit long. So generally speaking, it's going to take you about a minute and a half to two minutes to complete it. And um, the other issue is that, okay, so we didn't get any incredible gems from Cell there. Sometimes he drops some like, you know, training items and stuff like that, which I don't really need, but it is what it is. And uh, in that run, we should have gone, I think, 17, 16 or 17 gems. Let's see. Okay, so 17 gems, and uh, it took us about two minutes. That's actually a little bit slow. Usually it takes me about a minute and a half, but uh, there you go, guys. 23-4. Oh, I, was, I was saying before, the uh, other downside of this stage is that there are a lot of Cell Juniors. All right, so you got to avoid those Cell Juniors at all costs. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you run into one. But fighting those will increase the amount of time it takes to clear that run by a lot. So try to avoid them as much as possible. And uh, as I said, the other stage that I like a lot is this one right here, 27-3. Now 27-3 I found doesn't give you as many launch and pilafs, even though you can still get them pretty frequently. It's not as frequent as 23-4. But the good thing about 27-3 is that it's really, really short. So as you can see... You only probably need like two or three of these rolls here, right? If you get lucky, you only need like three or four. And uh, there you go. We're at Piccolo now. 
And then typically, if you bring an okay team, you should be able to one-shot Piccolo, you know, pretty easily. So this Frieza should take care of Piccolo by himself, and uh, you can move on to the next run. So even though it is a little bit less likely you'll get Pilaf and Launchier, it can still happen. I've still gotten both, you know, on the map before. Um, even if you don't get them, you will be able to do the next run really, really quickly. So there you go. We finished it. We didn't get a launcher peel off, but that's okay because we can just jump into the next run immediately. And uh, the other good thing about this stage is that it gives you a lot more rank EXP than 23-4. So, you know, when there's like an event where it's like three, four times rank EXP, then this actually might be a better stage to run for just getting exp and gems at the same time right now when i'm making this video there's no bonus so i think that 23.4 is definitely the better one because either way you're not getting a ton of rank exp but if there is a bonus then 27.3 might be something to look at just to rank up and get the gems at the same time all right and as you can see that run only took me about 43 seconds so significantly significantly shorter than 23.4 so those are the two stages that I personally recommend, more, more so 23-4 if you're just looking to farm gems. And uh, obviously, there's a lot of stuff you can buy in the barber shop. That's why people want these gems, right? That's why they're so valuable. Um, on top of the, you know, Android 13, who is a monster, there's a bunch of other units you can buy, like the LR Vegito Blue. I mean, this guy, Doken Awakens into LR Vegito Blue, so you can buy copies of him. You can also buy the Patara medals to awaken him. Um, you can also get some reversal medals, you can get a bunch of Kai's, some uh, Kai medals to awaken units, and uh, some other good stuff. I mean, you guys can take a look for yourself. Most of these units honestly aren't that good, but that Android 13 is absolutely incredible. For anybody that doesn't know what he does, let me show you right now. So this guy, once Token Awakened, will uh, raise attack and defense on his super, so he is an infinite stacker, amazing for the legendary Goku event. And his passive reduces damage received by 40% when key is 8 or more, and increases or he gets attack and defense plus 130% when facing an enemy whose includes or whose name includes Goku, Vegeta, or Trunks Teen. And he also gets an additional attack and defense plus 70% when your team has androids 14 and 15 attacking in the same turn and of course the fizz 14 and 15 is a free to play unit so you should be able to get them as well run them together and uh, just wreck all goku's vegeta's and teen trunks is out there so really really good unit he's the main reason why i'm farming my gems at the moment and uh, as you can see i currently have what do i have 930 gems we still need um well if i need five copies that's 1500 gems right Math. Yes, 1500 gems, so we're missing about 600. This is what I'm going to be doing for maybe the next week or so, because there's not really much else to do with their stamina on Global at the moment. Although we should be getting part 2 of this celebration pretty soon, so maybe we'll be getting some new events. I'm not really sure. Global, obviously, is going through a insane dry spell, um, so we just need to fill our time and use our stamina on something. And you know, farming gems is always a good thing, even if you don't have anything to buy in the shop at the moment. There's always stuff that's added in the future. Every once in a while, they'll reset it for the Kai's too. So if you buy all the Kai's, um, they will come back at some point in the future. So like I said, never a bad time, never a bad use of your stamina to farm incredible gems. And in my opinion, 23-4 is the best stage to farm. 27-3 is good for farming uh, rank XP and uh, gems and some other stages out there are also good but in my opinion not as good as 23.4 if you guys think there's a better stage out there for farming incredible gems aside from the ones that i mentioned in this video feel free to let us know in the comments down below and uh, that's gonna be it guys happy gem farming hope you guys get a lot of pilafs and launches and uh, hopefully you learned something in this video that you didn't know before and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. 
And of course, more stuff coming in the near future. So if you guys are into the Dokkan stuff, and also some console gaming too, I've been doing like Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm gonna play probably Resident Evil Remake at some point too. So if you guys don't want, to, if you guys want to see all that stuff, then make sure to subscribe to the channel, join the Tiger Squad, and I promise you will not regret it. And that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. Have an awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.